Hello there, dude bros. I was challenged basically to make a stupid, binge worthy commentary video. And so I'm just gonna do it because nobody's gonna watch this and it might be hilarious. And I've got a list here of stuff in case I start rambling. So it hopefully won't be that bad. This is my tutorial on how to knife run in this game. And uh, this is right here, this is perfect. I looked at where they're coming from. And now stick close towards, stick behind cover, try not to be seen, and then flank people. Because that's exactly what you need to do in a nutshell. If people don't see you coming, you win. If you are obvious, you lose. That's the general gist of knife running. Never try to come directly at people, always try to flank them, always be the one who has the upper hand, you know. They have to react to you. And then you're likely gonna win. If you have to react to them, you're gonna lose. And uh, like the big question that everybody's gonna have probably is: Is knife running actually any good? And I'd say yes. It depends on the map and the game mode. And this map right here is probably the best map for it. It's in closed spaces, a lot of them. Most of the maps in this game are actually balanced for every type of play mode, and this is probably the most enclosed space fight on top of each other, so it's obviously excellent for this. Game mode wise, what the knife running excels at is pure another deathmatch, because there's no area you are bound to going to. In, for example, the mode where you have to protect the robot, which is called um, safeguard, you have to always stick to the robot and push it and or defend the, the area that it is in, so it might be in an open space area, which is really bad for the knife. Only reason you would knife on there is to go behind enemy lines, flank people and just kill them and don't give a shit about the objective, in which case you're playing the fucking mode wrong and you should be ashamed of yourself. And uh, yeah, <laughs> maybe in the modes like capture the flag or the um, satellite uplink mode, it's pretty good because you can be the dedicated runner, just use your speed. Here's the specialist ability of Reaper being used to confuse people, which is exactly what I mean with, you know, flank and ruse. If they have to react to you, you win. If you react to them, or if you just, you know, run in front of them, like an idiot, being like herder. This this works right here because it's I'm the monster closet there. But running directly at a guy and, you know, maybe with the power slide you can do it. But otherwise, if you run directly at the guy, I think the chances are 80%, 90% that they're gonna win. And this leads me to, you know, what you need to know or what you need to do is learn the movement. Because this game has added uh, jetpacking, double jumping basically, in a sense, and has a power slide ball running mode. Ball running with the knife is obviously pointless. You're gonna be shot down unless nobody sees you and use it to flank then it's great. Power slide, the power slide is your friend but the problem is um, it dead stops you as soon as you turn. You slide and then you are a sitting back. So if you can use it to close distance because the lunge of the knife has been tuned down I feel from the good old days of free weekend modern warfare 2 that I had the pleasure of playing and fucking getting cancer from. Um, the lunch is really not that great, unless you use this one specialist that has it as a special weapon, but then you know you need to get the countdown done. Otherwise just use the power slide into the knife and the power slide will fuck you up if you time it wrong. Also if you have the loud thrusters then they hear you coming. And um, yeah, the double jump is basically your enemy in this sense because in open spaces if you play against the knife runner for example and he's starting to piss you off. This is the most useful thing you can just do. Just fly upwards with the jetpack and shoot down. Because that absolutely fucks you up. And of course running into three people at once as you can see there. I was hoping to flank them that they would run past me all together. Everybody just lemminging through there. And just getting them one by one by running in from behind. Because that's also what you need to pay attention to when you're playing it. Always look at the minimap and try to flank. Minimap is absolutely broken if you ask me. Still. The UAV is your best friend. If the UAV is going on, you can just anticipate people and fuck them up. Which is uh, also, again, what you should focus on if you're getting annoyed by an knife runner. 
if you can see UAVs going on, always use the, the launcher and shoot it down. Because the UAV will have the map runner immensely. Alright, uh, yeah, sticking close to the wall, it's UAV. Yeah, Rus people, you know, straight up confuse them. And I'm gonna talk in the next part about the, the loadouts, and I'm gonna tell you about which specialist is best or what I think consider to use with, in combination with the, with the knife. But the mod causes confusion, so never use any specialist weapons, except maybe the, the stabbing knives of uh, Spectre. But otherwise, just use abilities to confuse and uh, get you out of tight situations. Also, I think, you know, people get really, really buttered when you use shotguns and on the knife not so much for some reason, but the knife and the shotguns are basically the same area of use. You want to stay somewhat in closed spaces and you want to try to get this one hit kill. You don't want to give the enemy a chance to react. And that's why they get so buttered, you know, most people just use SMGs and think they are, you know, absolutely Call of Duty Pro 420. And uh, because they are so openly useful in every space, except when somebody <laughs> knife runs or shotguns, because then you get fucked. And here's another use of the specialist ability to confuse people perfectly. But yeah, if an SMG, if you use an SMG and you get fucked over by the knife runner, then you're obviously doing it wrong. You're going into the monster closet and you shouldn't be there. Try to lure them out in deathmatch mode. There's obviously gonna be stupid teammates who constantly run into the knife runner and get killed and feed them kills, but that's not really your problem, you should just stay out. Just don't go in. Also this guy fucked up. I was running directly at him and the power slide saved me there I guess. But if you if you come directly at a guy like this, then he should shoot you and he should die. Also, I think um, in these type of deathmatch modes, just get low score kill streaks. I got UAV, counter UAV and the the little tank Cerberus. It's a great combination because you usually will have a pretty good time getting like three or four guys at once. You flank them, then you get your UAVs going, get some more score, get the tank out, which helps you again to flank people because they just have to deal with this thing open being in the open areas, then they wanna go into the enclosed spaces and then there's the knife runner monster closet. And obviously UAV needs to be there because UAV is your best friend because it helps you with the broken, unbalanced goddamn radar. The radar shows up everybody who shoots, but you don't shoot, so you don't show up for them. If you combine it with the right perks, you're absolutely invin uh, invisible, which means invincible obviously. <laughs> Okay, now to the second part, how to set up your bait class and which specialists I recommend with it. First of all, primary weapons. Obviously if you are gonna primarily knife run, you don't need those. In case you want to combine the knife with something, I would combine it only with super long range stuff. Assault rifles, LMGs, probably the most useful it would be with is a sniper rifle. Because people would just run at people with sniper rifles, trying to get them into close range because it's really hard to deal with it with a sniper obviously. So that's where you pull out the knife then. The knife itself has no optics or attachments, you can save up on your maximum class um, points there. The knife itself, there's other melee weapons but they are cosmetic stuff like, maybe you can see this, I hope the footage is high enough quality for this, there's like a wrench or a breast knuckle or a crowbar, you can see that in the footage I steal it from a guy and a sword or some stuff. These are all the same shit. They all deal one hit kills like the knife and have with animations if you miss so there's there's no difference in that. There is one special weapon that I've seen that's a crossbow that has a bayonet attached to it and I think it's overpowered actually. And you can only get it through these supply drops as well. That's not cosmetic, that's an actual different gun and it's stupid. I don't know why they would do that. <laughs> to the leaflets and tacticals I'd say you know, grenades, may maybe, but you know, you're trying to be as silent as possible and grenades are loud. So that's a bad idea. Same reason why I don't use tacticals. Tacticals might be good, the stun grenade for example, might be cool. But I don't really, you know, these are only good if you run directly at people, which is what, what you're trying to do anyways. Why would you stun somebody that you're flanking already and trying to shove the knife in their back? So why stun them in the first place? I'd rather save these and get even more perks. From the perk one side, 
Let's say afterburner is good if you wanna move really fast and the area is pretty open space. Because then you can constantly jetpack flight. Blind eye, I just like it because I don't like getting blown up by kill streaks. This is just my taste, I just think it's good. Sixth sense might be cool as well, but I don't really think it's that useful because most people like me use the hardwired part which stops this from being used against you. Black jacket is great in any objective mode. If you're close to an objective there's gonna be explosives going off. And because knife running doesn't really work with these modes too well, flag check is pretty pointless. Overclock, I would combine this if you really really want to use your specialist ability. If you're using Spectre for example, it's really good because his ability is basically the commando stuff from the older Call of Duties which was hilariously broken and stupid. And in this is actually balanced because it's locked behind the specialist weapon. And I like Ghost because um, as I said before, the UAV is your best friend in that sense, and the minimap not showing you while you move, which is probably 90% of the time while you have the knife out, you're gonna move, so you're not being seen at all, and you can't be anticipated, which is exactly what you want. On the perk 2 side, uh, fast hand, swap weapons faster and aim faster after sprinting, that's absolutely pointless. Again, if you use the sniper rifle though, and then just wanna pull out your knife as fast as possible, then it's good. And the up, I think, is just ass. Hardwired is really good. I would, I mean, I not only, I not only would, I do always use it because I think it's just, just need this. Cracker, I tried it in this gameplay footage, as you can see, but I don't think it's that great. It's all right with the knife. I mean, you only have the choice, in my opinion, on perk two between cold blooded and Tracker as your secondary, and cold blooded. Uh, it makes you immune against the ice score streaks that uh, drive around on the floor, like the, the tank that I summoned there, the, the uh, servers. Kind of okay for that purpose, and it makes you immune to thermal optics, which is great if you use smoke grenades. For example in objective modes again, but you're not gonna do that with the knife, so... It just depends. If, if they use a lot of uh, ground-based score streaks and they start to piss you off, then this is good. Otherwise, I would say track and hardware in combination, you don't need scavenger because you have no guns except for the knife. Perk 3. I'd say here, my favorite, the one that I always use there is Tactical Mask. Because it reduces the effects of flashbang, concussion, and shock charges. So you completely are immune to that sort of thing, basically. And that helps you a lot because you want to move fast and you want to get into people's faces. They throw in a tactical grenade thinking they can stop you from just running into their faces. And in that time frame, they're already dead because you shift them in the throat. Gung Ho, hip fire your weapon, deploy equipment, and throw grenades while spending. Absolutely pointless. Plus, suppressor is pretty good because, again, it doesn't show you the minimap then, which means you can't be anticipated, which means your monster closet is gonna be even more fun. Awareness, I've never used this. I think whatever, you know, might be cool. I, I wouldn't do this. Engineer. It's also great if you have an overabundance of score streaks going off, which you shouldn't have because that means the game is going their way anyways. And that silence might also be good. So if you want to be completely the stealth guy, then you can combine plus suppressor and that silence. But I would rather have tactical mask in combination with plus suppressor or tactical mask in combination with that silence. And yeah, that's obviously you need the wild cards to have more perch, and that's gonna completely fill up. The entire class. Now let's get over to the specialists. Alright, next up the characters I would combine with it. First things first, specialist weapons, not that great. They're all long range and you wanna be, you know, silent melee killer. So obviously Cold Steel the Headshake over here is gonna be your character of choice if you actually wanna use a specialist weapon. Otherwise I'm just gonna talk about the secondaries on them because that's usually what you would be going for. Chuck the Iceman Liddell can go super fast, but it's also loud, so it doesn't really help that much in not being seen, but it helps you at uh, accomplishing objectives, for example in Capture the Flag, I would totally recommend this if you wanna knife run in that. Next up, Colton Calculating Sniper Woman over here. Her ability is basically wall hacking, but on the minimap you can see exactly where the pulse is coming from, so if you're knife running, it's really bad. Next up, we got Black Chasey Denton. 
he has time lapse of Weaver, except when you time lapse, then you revert to the position and your health is still the same. It's good for knife running if you run into a shitty situation, you just want to get that out or to confuse people. So I still rate this pretty high tier for being uh, a knife running secondary. Nader from Dirty Bomb, her ability is really good with guns because you basically get Juggernaut, you are really healthy and can just tank up damage. But with the knife, you just don't want to be shot in the first place. Also, it's pretty loud, so it's a bad ability, in my opinion. Next up, Asian Dirty Harry. Her ability increases uh, the points you gain. So unless uh, you know you want to go for some weird ass hit street build, this is really not recommended. Next up, we got uh, Dr. Bees. He has one of the actually primaries that might be useful for the knife. However, you need to camp with it, and if people realize that you sit in the same house all day, they're not going to end it anymore. And the other ability that he has is Recheck, which revives him on the spot. It's not that great, in my opinion, for knife running. It's not that great in general. I think this ability is really ass and you should change it. Next up is um, Iron Man. Iron Man is great. I, you see me use him in the in the footage and you can see how the ability works there. It's It gives you the one second that you need, you know, the split second. Be the monster closet to instantly kill people, it's great. Next up, Cold Steel. Cold Steel is the only one who has uh, a melee related um, Specialist weapon, so it's great. It's also the one that charges the fastest. And would totally recommend this. And his secondary ability I've never used the knife run with. I've seen somebody knife run with it and it seems to work. I have to try it yet though. And I would also yeah, in, in general if you want a knife run with a specialist, he's probably the most uh, most relatable for knife running. And last but not least the Fury from Metal Gear Solid, who has um, Heat wave, which is actually a really awesome ability, might be pretty good with the knife. I haven't tried it yet, but I would definitely recommend it. It's basically a tactical grenade that just shoots out of your body in a ginormous area. They can stun a bunch of people and kill them. It's also quite loud, but um, you know, if you use this, you're gonna be surrounded by a bunch of enemies, anyways, so it's pretty good.